There is no shortage of adventure games to be played on your Mac in 2019. Let's see what's on offer for us with the top 10 Mac adventure games of 2019. Starting at number 10, we have In the Valley of Gods. From the developers of Firewatch, Campo Santo are bringing us In the Valley of Gods. According to the game's official website FAQ page, the game will have a macOS version. Campo Santo currently intend to release the game later in 2019, but they do not have anything else to share. It's going to be a single player, first person game, which is set in Egypt in the 1920s. You'll be able to play as an explorer and a filmmaker who are traveling to a desert in the hopes of filming an impossible and incredible discovery. That is all that has been announced about this upcoming game. I don't know what its requirements will be and if it will support the Metal API, but I'm super excited to see more as Firewatch was an amazing adventure game and I'm sure this one will be also. Number 9 is The Gardens Between. Welcome to a puzzle adventure game that follows two friends as they drop into a strange world that is filled with everyday objects from their childhood. The interesting thing about The Gardens Between is that you can manipulate time to solve puzzles. You can rewind or fast forward time itself to solve puzzles in order to reach the end of each level. Having this ability to control time creates some pretty remarkable moments in the game and the music and sound also emphasize this. I believe this game utilizes metal so the gardens between should work on most Macs from 2012 and above. Number 8 we have State of Mind. I really like this game. Some people don't enjoy it because the gameplay is paced quite slowly, but it's a pretty good sci-fi thriller adventure. It shows us what could happen if human and machine become one in the near future. It's scary, actually. The graphics are really great here, and the third-person gameplay is not bad either. I will say that the voice acting is sometimes questionable, or awkward, which is why I put this game higher on the list. But other than that, it's a solid experience for Mac gamers. State of Mind has rather high requirements, and it is best played on Macs from 2014 and up. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you- If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. Number seven is Far Lone Sales. I finished this game in one sitting. It's only a few hours long, but I enjoyed every moment. You traverse around in a vehicle through a post-apocalyptic setting. It's funny because you actually become emotionally attached to this vehicle. I know that sounds funny, but it's true. Because you spend most of your time with this vehicle throughout the entire story. You have to maintain it, you have to upgrade it, and you have to make sure that it gets you to where you want to go. It's quite a different game from what's on offer out there at the moment, but it has a great art style, it's atmospheric, has decent puzzles, and the music and sound design is stellar. Far Lone Sales has very low requirements, so it can run on most Macs from 2011 and up. Number six, we have Subnautica. Subnautica is an open world survival adventure game. Basically, you crash land on an alien planet and then you have to fend for yourself to survive. You can do pretty much whatever you want in Subnautica. This is why so many gamers find it appealing. It's relaxing. Explore the alien underwater world, craft equipment, pilot submarines, discover uh, clues, and then you'll have to outsmart the wildlife who can sometimes not be very um, friendly towards you. There is so much on offer here, meaning you can play Subnautica for ages without the experience becoming stale. One downside to Subnautica is that the game has quite high requirements, so it's best played on max from 2014 and up. Number five is Sable. K 
Coming later in 2019 for Mac, Sable is a coming-of-age tale of exploration and discovery. It all takes place in a well-rendered alien open-world desert where you'll travel on a hoverbike. You can meet interesting people, go on quests, solve puzzles, and much more. The art design for Sable is fantastic, and when you play, every moment could basically be a stunning wallpaper. Not much else is known about Sable yet, but I'm super excited to get my hands on it later in 2019. According to the game's Steam page, a macOS version will be available. The requirements for Sable have also not been officially released yet, but I expect it will have low or modest requirements. Number four, we have Grizz. Grizz is a platform adventure game that follows a young girl. Grizz was one of the most artistic games released on Mac in 2018. Every moment is honestly stunning and the music is so atmospheric and makes you feel all kinds of things. Happiness, sadness, confusion, it's great. What's also cool is that Grizz has almost no text. It provides only simple controls to maneuver around. This is great as anyone can play it regardless of your gaming skill or spoken language. Grizz surprisingly has modest requirements though, so it's best played on Max from maybe 2013 or 2014 and up for the best experience. Number three is Life is Strange Before the Storm. Originally released in 2017 for Windows PC, Feral Interactive ported Before the Storm to Mac in late 2018. It's a three-part standalone narrative adventure that is set three years before the events of the first game, and you'll be following Chloe Price this time around. You can expect a choice and consequence narrative adventure, multiple endings, a new backtalk feature to provoke others, and you can change Chloe's outfit. Also, the good news is that before the storm utilizes metal and it utilizes it to its full advantage because most Macs from 2012 and up can run this game. But for the best experience, play before the storm on a 2014 and up Mac. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Real helpful, Frank. Number two, we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Later in 2019, Feral Interactive are porting Shadow of the Tomb Raider to macOS. I'm super excited to play this game as Rise of the Tomb Raider was such a stellar game for macOS. They haven't unveiled much about this game yet, but you can expect the same well-polished action adventure as the previous games. The only downside is that the game will most likely have very high requirements. If we take Rise of the Tomb Raider as an example, this game should be supported on Macs from 2015 or 2016 and up, something like that. But hopefully Apple releases some new Macs this year and they should demonstrate the graphics potential of this game for macOS. And finally, number one, we have Return of the Obra Din. Some of you might be surprised to see this game at number one, but it's hands down one of the best adventure games on macOS right now. I'm putting that out there and I'm sticking with it. It has one of the most unique art styles in a video game to date, and the voice acting, the music, it's all really well polished throughout the game. You play as an insurance investigator who boards the Obra Dinn ship and must prepare an assessment on what happened on the ship. All the crew are dead or missing and the boat's sails are damaged. The best part of this game is having the ability to go back in time to see what actually happened to the crew. And as you play, it all starts to make sense. It's a really cool feature. There is a free demo of this game available on itch.io, and it gives you like a great taste of what's on offer with this game. Also, Return of the Oberdin can run on most Macs as it has very low requirements. Here are some bonus adventure games you might enjoy. Asterix and Obelix XX 
L2. I think I said something wrong there, possibly. Anyways, this game has been remastered to bring the experience of the original game, which was made back in 2005, to the modern world. It has enhanced graphics, and the gameplay has been redesigned. If you're looking for a point-and-click adventure, look towards unforeseen incidents. You can solve puzzles and mysteries, explore, talk to people, and enjoy the hand-painted 2D graphics. Are you after a free adventure game? Well, you might enjoy Cube Escape Paradox. It has very basic graphics, but it's super fun. You have to work out how to escape the room by solving puzzles. What's also cool is that this is a film and game crossover, so it mixes both elements from the game, which was also a film, I don't, yeah. The station is a first-person sci-fi mystery set on a space station. You will have to unravel a mystery which will decide the fate of two civilizations. If you're after another platform adventure game, Forgotten Anne is a good option for you. It offers storytelling, light platforming, and hand-painted visuals. What's your favorite adventure game on Mac? Was it in this video or did I completely miss it? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos about new Mac games. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.